snore day. It's also the first day that everything is frozen. Concrete was scheduled to show up at eight o'clock. So the concrete finishers and the pump, they showed up around seven. a and brought the concrete out again. Uh, I ordered it with the maximum five inch slump. That's what the plan's called for. We started pouring the concrete uh, in the wall between the house and the garage. The footings in the garage were deeper than everything else, so they took more concrete. And the stem walls were eight inches wide instead of six inches, so that also took more concrete. In total, the garage itself took two full trucks. Just like we did with the retention wall, and just like I did when I dug the footings, we started in the corner basically and poured our way out. Once the garage was poured, we poured the patio footings. The patio footings were pretty wide too and took a lot of concrete. Pretty much my only contribution to that was stringing out those CBSQs. We had a total of eight guys out here, nine if you count me. When we first started pouring, we didn't really need nine guys. We really only needed three. Two guys that were running the pump and one guy manning the end of the hose working the concrete. As we got going, we uh, started needing more guys to tap the forms and uh, knock off the top of the concrete. We're pouring the third truck now. I've got eight full trucks and a cleanup coming. Hopefully I don't need nine full trucks. Uh, we've got the garage pretty much poured, the stem walls for it. Uh, I think it's just the garage pretty much and part of the living room wall. Those are the biggest footings, so hopefully trucks start to go a little bit further now. Oh, third truck just left and the fourth truck just showed up. Um, I got eight trucks plus a, a cleanup come. That's nine trucks total if I need it. And I think we're I think we're over halfway with the pour and we're also past the, the, the bigger footings, the deeper footings for, like, for the garage. So it's mostly just the houses left. Um, like the bedrooms, the living room looks like it's pretty much done and the front porch. It's gonna be close, I'm hoping that I can get with less than eight trucks. I'm hoping less than eight full trucks. I hope I don't need that ninth truck at all. Once the concrete started setting up though, there was a couple guys who were dedicated to finishing the, doing the finish work on the garage stem walls and then before the concrete got too dry they started stripping the forms. The stem walls in the garage were the only ones we really had to worry about the finish. The concrete finishers troweled the stem walls in the garage and they shot a little water on them and brushed them to give them a nice brush look. Those sections of the stem wall you'll actually see when the house is done so I want to make sure it looked good. So you can see there was a lot of extra dirt left in the garage. I'm gonna have to dig that out later. Probably ran a mini excavator and a skip loader or a bobcat with a bucket or track track loader with a bucket or something. And I'll use that dirt to fill in the front patio and the back patio. Uh, anything that's left over, I'll just use in the front planter boxes. Poured out the whole house, leaving the front patio for last. The front patio took relatively more concrete than the rest of the house. The stem walls were taller, and because of the way I dug it, the footings were bigger. pour this thing out with seven trucks and I won't even need the eighth one let alone the ninth one so hopefully instead of 11,000 maybe I can get in this thing for about nine by the time the six trucks showed up we were pretty much done pouring everything the only thing left was the front porch so I gave ANA's dispatch a call and asked them to hold off on loading the eighth truck until I called them I ended up pouring out the whole house with just under seven trucks I didn't need the eighth truck or the ninth truck My calculations 
so it's going to take about 69 and a half yards, about seven and a half trucks. everything was done we stripped all the forms and I loaded up all the concrete sticks so I could take them back to Knife River. Thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.